everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Katie and this is a class looking at our standing Utita Hasta Paruganasana. That is otherwise known as hand to big toe pose. We're going to look at the standing variation um, and this will be a really nice uh, way to open up the legs, stretch out the hamstrings. Before you get too comfortable, make sure you have a strap to hand. It doesn't have to be a specific um, yoga strap. It could be uh, uh, whatever home alternative you have to hand. Maybe uh, the belt of a dressing gown is a really good option or a scarf. Just something that is non-elastic that you can use to give yourself a little bit of extra reach because I'm going to teach it using the strap as a support. When you're ready, we're going to begin lying down. Feel free to head there and we'll make a start. As you come to lie down, make sure you've got your strap to hand. Have your strap nearby and then just lay all the way down on your back. Maybe taking Supta Bhadokanasana, the soles of the feet together and letting the knees drop open. The hands just rest wherever feels most comfortable. Feel free to shut the eyes and we just enjoy a few moments here at the top of our practice. Use this time to notice how your body feels and invite a bigger breath into your body. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the nose. Do this a few times, noticing your muscles and your joints, just how everything feels. Using the breath to invite a little bit of space from the inside out. Just another couple of breaths like this. Settle your mind and let your body feel nice and relaxed before we move. When you're ready, Take it to a big stretch, reaching the arms up and overhead. Slide the legs nice and long and just reach toes and fingers as far away from each other as possible. Pull your right knee into your chest and just give that right knee a little squeeze. Wrap the hands around the front of the shin. Stay quite soft into the hips and just re relax the legs. Let the arms do the pulling. You might choose to be still here or you might want to invite a little kind of wiggle or circle into the hip just to get a little bit of uh, fluid into the joint. So in order to uh, see what the standing variation of um, UHP, Utita Hasta Bhadokanasana, uh, feels like. We're actually going to do it here on the floor to begin with so that we can have that kind of memory, that muscle memory when we come to the standing version. So with this right knee into your chest, just reach down and grab your strap and just using the strap like, um, like a loose belt, Bring it around the, the ball of the right foot and just send the foot up to the sky to lengthen out the leg. Focus on straightening the leg. Reach as far up the strap as you can. With the right leg nice and straight, begin to pull your arms back into the sockets and the shoulders down, allowing the strap to release through the, the fingers. So the arms are nice and straight and the legs are nice and straight. The reason we have the strap around the ball of the foot is because it encourages a little flex into the ankle. So you want to feel as though the heel is the highest point of your, your leg. So from here, let's move both straps into the right hand and just relax the left hand on top of your left hip. And whilst you're just stretching through that hamstrings, breathing down the back of the leg, feel your belly button draw to the spine so the core is slightly engaged. 
and just start to notice your butt cheeks on the floor. You want to make sure that both butt cheeks stay glued to the ground. Something that might tend to happen here, especially if the legs are a little bit tight, is your right hip might kind of hitch a little bit up towards your right armpit. So see if you can just pro gently kind of send the right outer hip forwards to the top of your mat along the floor. Let's stay here just one more breath. And then we're gonna explore stretching through the inner thigh. So keeping the right hand on the strap, just start to rotate the right foot open. So you're rotating the right kneecap out, the right thigh in the socket. Left hand is starting to anchor the left hip down and you begin to open the right leg out to the side as wide as you can. I'll just shimmy over so I've got some space. I've got a wall in the way. <laughs> And you want to keep this right leg opening up to the point where your left butt cheek stays on the ground. As soon as that left butt cheek starts to lift, you're not actually increasing the angle of the stretch. You're just kind of rolling with the leg. So use that left hand. Keep trying to press through the heel. Use the right arm as support. Little squeeze through the right thigh. If you're pretty flexy, perhaps encourage the toes a little bit higher up towards the head end of your mat. Let's stay here just one more breath. Make sure those hip bones are nice and level. Very good, gently squeeze that belly button in, lift the right leg up to the middle. Keep the right leg there, release the left hand, reach up and move the strap into both hands. And then just pull your left knee in and take the left foot inside the strap and then just release your right leg. So the right leg now relaxes nice and long to the floor. And just start again from the top. So make sure the, the bum, is, your bottom is glued to the floor. Move both straps now into just your left hand. Little flex through the ankle. Make sure the strap is around the ball of the foot. Heel pointing up towards the sky. The left leg is straight. Little squeeze through left thigh. Making sure the right hand is just gently supporting the right hip, keeping the hip bones level. The left arm is nice and straight as the arm pulls back into the socket and the shoulder towards the floor. Belly button draws to the, to the spine. And just breathe here. Make sure that leg is actually right up in front of you. Sometimes it might either come across a little bit or open out. Taking it into the inner thighs, we rotate the left toes outwards, turning the thigh in the socket. The leg starts to open out to the left hand side. Right hand gets a little firmer onto the right hip. As soon as you feel that right butt cheek start to lift away from the floor, I want you to stop. That is where we, the edge of your stretch. Feeling this through the inner thighs, keep squeezing the left thigh, pressing the left heel away. Shoulders are grounded. Inhale here. Nice, recover that left leg back to the sky, well done. Nice and easy, soften the strap, release the loop from around the foot, move the strap out to one side and send the left leg long. And just take a moment to notice kind of the back body on the floor and that's what we, what we want to make sure we keep a hold of when we come to our standing variation. Moving on, inhale, stretch, reaching the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little wiggle, a little rock side to side. Hands move to the back of the legs. Take a little rock and roll forwards and backwards. Enjoy that a few times. Oh, I'm going to use this momentum to come all the way up and over to our downward facing dog. Getting there, however, is most easy. Downward facing dog, making sure the hands are just a little wider than, than the shoulders. Index finger at 12 o'clock, lifting the hips, stepping the feet to the back of the mat. Have the feet hip distance or wider, especially if the hamstrings are a little bit tight still. And let's have a wiggle on the spot. Just bend and stretch one knee at a time encouraging one heel towards the floor to get a nice stretch into the calves. 
Arms are nice and straight and long. The belly button is drawing in. And just relax your head between the arms. Find stillness in your down dog when you're ready. Perhaps for now, staying on the balls of the toes, keeping a little micro bend through the knees, pressing firmer into all 10 fingertips, extending through the lower back and the tailbone. Take one more inhale here, squeeze biceps and triceps, the upper arms. Gazing forwards, walk your feet towards your hands. Let's come to dangle at the top of the mat. Have the feet a comfortable distance apart. A little bend through the knees once again. Maybe release the hands, grab opposite elbow, relax through the neck and just enjoy a little sway side to side. Releasing the hands to the ground. Bending the knees, open the feet nice and wide, turn out the toes. Let's sit down into our yogi squat just to wake up the hips a little bit. Tailbone towards the ground and the turn out of the feet, entirely personal. That turn out, make sure the knees are tracking with the toes. If it's a little bit tight in the hips, you could always sit a little bit higher, rest the forearms on the thighs. Do not worry if the heels aren't touching the ground either, you can have the heels lifted. If available, just let the hands relax to the floor. We're gonna work between our forward fold and our yogi squat. From here, just send the bottom to the sky, drop your head, lengthen out through the legs. You can keep the turn out of the feet and then sit back down into your yogi squat, bottom down, lifting the head gaze forwards. Go again, forward fold, Uttanasana. And into your yogi squat, Malasana. Let's do one more little combo into the forward fold. And then relaxing into your yogi squat. Lovely, from here let's return to the fold. Once the hips have lifted, just heel toe the feet a little more comfortable underneath you to hip distance. Keep that softness through the knees as you slowly curl up through the spine, rising to stand, just releasing the hip flexors. Little shrug of the, of the shoulders at the top. In Tadasana, let's do a little warm up. Take an inhale, send the arms up to the sky, circle the hands behind you and interlace the fingers. Bending through the knees, lengthen back through the elbows. Inhale, as you exhale, forward fold, tummy to thighs. Keep the interlace of the hands as the head starts to relax down and the arms reach away from the body. Bending the knees to access a little more space through the shoulders. Inhale, and exhale. Relaxing the hands to the ground, move through to halfway lift, lengthening through the legs, look forward, squeeze through the upper back. Exhaling, hands to the ground. Step back to your high plank option to lower the knees to half plank. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows to ribcage, onto the tops of the feet. Inhale, rise up the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's take three breaths in downward facing dog. Soft knees, long arms. If the legs are starting to open up, feel free to squeeze those thighs just a little bit. Don't compromise the space at your lower back. One more inhale. Sweeping the right leg up to the sky. Take a nice big stretch through the right toes, lengthening the left heel towards the ground. One more inhale, three leg dog. As you exhale, step the right foot forwards in between the hands. Gently lower the left knee towards the ground and sweep the arms up and overhead. The gaze follows. Maybe palms touch up and over, letting the hips relax down. Squeeze your glutes. Take an inhale. And exhale, forward fold, hands to the ground. Step back to high plank and into your chaturanga vinyasa. Bend through the elbows, keep the core tight. Shoulders rise, squeeze your bum, upward facing dog. And we release to downward facing dog. Left leg sweeps to the sky, into your three leg dog. Keep the left outer hip in line with the right. One more inhale. 
Exhaling, step the left foot forwards in between the hands. Gently drop the back knee to the floor, low lunge. Arms reach up and overhead. Anjali Asana. Sink the hips, lift the gaze, reach through the fingers, inhale. And release the hands down, fold, step back, high plank into your vinyasa, chaturanga, nice and tight with those elbows. Breathe, let the breath guide you down with facing dog. If you need to at any point, feel free to drop to the knees. We could always come down to child's pose, have a little rest. If you're not already in down dog, return to your downward facing dog shape. Sending the right leg to the sky when you're ready, inhale. Hold it there for that extra breath. Inhale one more time. Exhaling, step the right foot forwards in between the hands. Holding here in runner's lunge, just place the fingertips either side of that front foot. Nice and long through the left leg. Dipping the hips down. If you have yoga bricks here, feel free to use them uh, whenever you need. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale. Staying as low as you can over this front foot. Reach the fingertips forwards, as far forwards as you can. Start to shift the weight onto your right foot. A little push. Let's find supported warrior three. Lifting the back leg off the floor, zip up the belly button, flex into those left toes. Maybe even drop the head and look at your left foot. Make sure all five toes point to the floor. And again, if the floor is a little far away, guys, grab a block to bring those um, under each hand to bring the floor a little bit closer. Staying here, just one more breath. Try and squeeze the belly button in, lift through that right heel, right foot. And then slowly lower the left toes to the back of the mat. Gently dropping the left knee to the ground, move to low lunge. Take an inhale, look forwards, keep the hands down. And exhale, next breath. Inhale, pull the hips back, move to half split. Keeping the left hip over the right knee, uh, left hip over the left knee even. And then we rebend the right knee to come back into lunge. Let's do that again. Inhale, pull the hips back. You can use your blocks under the hands to bring the floor closer. Exhale, rock forwards. Think like you're on train tracks. One more. Pull the hips back. Let's hold it here an extra breath. See if you can lift and lengthen through the upper back, pulling that right hip towards the back of your mat. Letting the head drop down. Gently rock forwards. Plant the hands to the floor. Step back to high plank. And take a vinyasa. Bend through the elbows. Always the option to lower knees on chaturanga. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Left leg goes to the sky. Inhale. Hold it here, press through right heel. Inhale, take a breath. Exhaling, left foot forwards. Find your runner's lunge. Take your time. Fingertips framing front foot, allowing the hips to drop. Again, if you need the floor closer, use blocks here. Lengthen that right leg away. Take a breath. Reaching the arms forwards, moving into supported warrior three. A little push onto the left foot. Go forwards with the crown of the head. Right foot lifts off the floor, flex through the ankle. Zip up the belly button and just make sure the hands are right underneath the shoulders. Perhaps a little look. Rotate right in a thigh, inwards and up towards the sky. Big toe points to the floor. Squeeze through the left leg. Inhale. Slowly lower the left, right toes to the back of the mat, bending into your left knee. The back knee drops to the floor, low lunge. When you're ready, next breath, inhale, pull the hips back, half split. Exhale, rock forwards. Make sure those hips stay in line with each other. Inhale, pull back. And exhale. 
exhale, go forwards. One more time, inhale, pull back. And exhale, forwards. Well done, pull the hips back. Let's hold it into half split. Just a few extra breaths. Feel like the belly button draws in as you inhale. Relax the shoulders down and just allow the head to drop. Moving forwards, press the hands into the floor, step back to high plank and flow through vinyasa. Now we'll meet in downward facing dog. If you want a little pause, feel free to drop to the knees, come down to child's pose instead. Let's reset the breath wherever you are. In and out through the nose. I enjoy just one more breath here. Coming back to downward facing dog if you're not already there. Let's sweep the right leg once more up to the sky. Big stretch through the right foot. Step the right toes forwards in between the hands. Lifting the arms up and overhead. Stand tall into high lunge. And just take your time to find your balance. When you're ready, turn this out to warrior two. Spin the back heel to the floor, open the arms wide. And from warrior two, straighten through the front leg, reach the arms up. Keep the arms overhead as you turn the right toes in. Moving into a wide leg fold, reach the arms open, swan dive to the floor. Reach down and grab your ankles. Little bend through the knees if needed. If you'd prefer, you could always piece bind big toes with the first and second finger as an alternative. Just feel as though the shoulders are rolling back and down. Maybe you squeeze the thighs a little bit and just start to pull with the elbows, your tummy between the legs. Shift the weight forwards into the balls of the feet, more towards the arches, the middle of the feet, sending your bottom nice and high to the sky. Let's hold it here, one more breath. Shoulders away from ears. Nice, well done, release the hands. Soften the knees, bring the hands under the shoulders, walk the hands around your right foot, come to face forwards. Rolling onto the left toes, square off the outer hips. Take a soft bend in the front knee. Next, inhale, straighten the front leg. If you need to, feel free to use blocks. Bring that floor closer, little pyramid variation. Let's stay nice and high on the left toes for now. This gives us space to access that right outer hip, pulling back in space. One more inhale. Softening into the front knee. Lifting the head, stand tall. Just let the arms be nice and relaxed alongside you. Step the left foot to the top of the mat and find Tadasana. This is where we're going to move into our standing Uttitahara Paraganasana. So grab your strap to hand. And again, you just want it loose like a belt. We're going to work with the right leg first. So bring the right knee up to the chest and the strap comes as we did in the floor variation around the ball of the foot. And then bring both straps onto the inside, holding with the right hand as tight to your ankle as possible. Left hand moves onto left hip. Find your trishti, that's your gaze, anchor and lock it into a single point. As you start to stretch the leg forwards, feel free to let the strap release through your hands so that right leg is nice and straight. And you wanna feel as though this right shoulder is pulling back in space, the arm drawing into the socket. Keep pulling the belly button in and you wanna stand nice and tall. Make sure the right foot is straight out ahead of you. If available, feel free to leave the hand where it is or send the left arm up to the sky. And I want you to imagine that as we did at the very beginning, you have your back now to a brick wall. So you can feel your butt cheeks and the back of the shoulders on a brick wall. So you wanna stand nice and tall. Sometimes we lean back a little bit, or maybe you're leaning forwards. See if you can stand tall. 
from here, we'll change this into the wide, the wide leg. So keeping a hold with that right hand, drop the left arm open, rotate the right toes out in its socket and send the leg out to the side. Give a little focus to your hip bones. Make sure the hip bones stay facing forwards and rotate the lifted thigh outwards. The, the, wide, the wider the foot, the more flexible you'll need to be. If you feel like you're starting to swivel on your standing leg, you're not actually changing the shape. Come back to those butt cheeks on the floor, butt cheeks against the brick wall. Stay with me, guys. One more breath in. Well done. Bring the right foot back to the front. Soften the strap. Release the foot. Bring it to the ground and shake it off. Very good. Well done. Take a breather. Reset. Let's do all of that on the second side. Keep your core switched on. Strap into both hands. It comes around the base of the left foot and it moves to the inside of the ankle, just your left hand. Right hand comes onto the hip and the heel goes forward. Straight leg, straight arm. Left arm pulls back into its shoulder. Zip up the belly button. Can you straighten your standing leg a little bit? Make sure you're active in the lifted leg, pressing through the heel forwards. Feel as though there is a bit of string out the crown of your head and somebody is just gently tugging it upwards. One thing to note, has this left outer hip popped out a little bit? Can you drop that left outer hip down in space? When you're ready, right arm stretches up to the sky. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Great balance, keep holding it. From here, we take it wide, turn the left toes out, rotate thigh and socket. Left leg goes out as the right arm opens to the right hand side. Keep both butt cheeks to that imaginary wall behind you, rotating thigh, kneecap outwards in the socket. And try not to hold too tightly onto the strap. Use your leg muscles, your foot's not that heavy. Yes, stay with me, inhale, stretch it. Very good, bring it back to the front, soften the grip, release the strap. Carefully just lose the strap off to one side and then have a little shake out, great, great effort. Breathe, see how the legs feel, come back to Tadasana. Nice sigh out the mouth if you need it. Next, inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale and fold. Into your halfway lift. Let's take a vinyasa. Flow all of that out the body. Walk, step or jump back. Chaturanga, elbows to ribs. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. This final downward facing dog. Check in with your body and the legs. How do they now feel after a good stretch? In your own time, relaxing the knees to the ground. Untuck the toes, let's come down to child's pose. Sit the hips to the heels, either leaving the arms soft out ahead of you or perhaps bringing the hands under the forehead to create a little pillow. Take a few calming, calming breaths. Perhaps a nice sigh out the mouth. Enjoy just a few more moments here. Let the mind be soft. Let the body be soft. Let 
sink into the ground, sink into the floor. When you're ready, moving the hands under the shoulders, just lift up the head, come to sit on the heels, slide your hips off to one side and just find a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes once you get there, just let the hands rest down wherever is comfortable, sit up tall. Nice deep inhale through the nose, open the mouth, exhale. Seal the lips, let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. A little scan of your body, notice how you now feel. And to bring your practice to a close, thank yourself for the time and the energy you've given palms come together at the heart center. Namaste. Thank you for tuning into this video, guys. So that is a uh, little taster of your uh, standing hand to big toe. Um, UHP, Utita Hasta Paruganasana. Say that quick three times. <laughs> um, hopefully those alignment cues will help you if you ever come across um, uh, this pose in any other flows when you practice. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think, guys. Feel free to drop any comments below or we'll get in touch if you have any questions. Um, I'm very happy to help. You can find me at Katie Silves on Instagram. Do tag me if you're enjoying any of these videos. There will be a new video out next week. Hopefully you have subscribed. If not, please click the button uh, and I will see you then.